Before uh, removing the exhaust valve, we need to drain the air out of the air cylinder. We do that by uh, loosening off the uh, the Allen nut on the end of the uh, air release valve. The, uh, the exhaust valve right the reason I'm doing the uh, project I'm doing is to try and get a, a bit more power out of my hat singulation fitted a regulator to it as in all cases once you fit them they tend to be about two foot pounds under what they were before you fitted it so it's it's like between eight and a half and nine foot pounds at the moment. Uh, so I thought if I uh, slacken off the tension on the exhaust valve, it might make up for a bit of it. We'll see. Uh, ideally, I would get to the anti-tamper and manage to get to the hammer spring to t wind that up or open out the transfer port. But uh, I'm gonna do that as a last resort. It's bloody hard to get round. Uh, the actual uh, cap on there needs to come off to get to the spring on the exhaust valve. They do tend to be quite tight, so here's a good trick of how to undo these things. Okay, I've got a leather strap around the uh, that side of the brass valve because I don't want to damage it. I've got some uh, grippers on that basically put two nails through it that fit oh, okay. it's usually a big bit of pliers get around the nails That's it. Don't need them anymore now, but I can use them to twist. That gets the top off. That's the hammer spring. That's the inside of the valve. Now what I did, I went to Maplin's bought myself a box of springs 150 different springs uh, £3.99 
uh, I found a spring which is that's quite a quite a heavy spring this one's not I've cut it down and what I'm gonna do hang on sorry about that I've cut it cut it down all I'm gonna do is stick it in Let's get the nails out of that there's a little centerpiece on that cap put that on the center of the spring and then you can screw it on by hand and it don't need to be as tight as it was it's got lots of thread on it and it's going nowhere anyway okay I've actually lubricated the end of that because it needs to be good enough to come out again and come back you know so all I need to do now is screw that back on the uh, on the air tube and we can test it over the chronograph it's actually got uh, an Alteros regulator inside it. I don't know if you can see that or not. Hang on a minute. Put a bit of light on it. So that's the Alteros regulator in there. And the end of the exhaust valve bumps right up to that. So you screw it in and leave about a millimetre of thread some people are worried about not screwing it all the way up but once the actual uh, air is in there it's going nowhere it puts tension on it okay so I'll now be testing this over the chronograph see if it makes a difference uh, I'm hoping to get 60 feet per second out of it, but I can't imagine it somehow. But it's worth a try. We'll see how it goes, and hopefully, if you're in a similar situation, it might help. I don't know. But here we go.